Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be busting down these Adidas cleats. These are the uh, Filthy Quicks. And yeah, this is a, this will be a short one. All right? Just going to show you how this stuff works magic, even on busted cleats. All right? Let's get it. Welcome back to Dip Dip Drip. Yeah, you know what it is. You know how we do. Back with another episode. And uh, before we jump into this, I want to give a huge, big, huge, big, fat shout out to the good folks at the League of Hustlers for sponsoring this episode. Right? The League of Hustlers, a motivational podcast for go getters. It's not for everybody, all right? But it is for the go-getters. If you consider yourself a go-getter and you're looking for inspirational, motivational type videos, type podcasts, type everything, check out theleagueofhustlers.com. It's a vlog, a curated vlog, as well as a podcast, right? And also, their sister company, brother company, he. Heat Goods. Heat stands for hustle, endure, triumph, right? But they have a bunch of cool gear. So it's actually a streetwear line, right? So check it out, man. And they sent us this dope uh, crossbody bag, first and foremost, right? Fresh. Stupid fresh. We appreciate the love, man. Check that out. Dang, son. Nice quality. Metal. Everything. Everything. All right. Got the multiple pockets. The cell phone hole for your earbuds. If you got them. Pocket on the front. This is really good quality, too. Real tough. All metal. good stitching and also a charge port for your phone with the cable All right so you can just have your um have you a like a charger on the inside portable charger plug it in and then run the cord out to charge your phone all right super cool though man check them out pocket on the back good stitching good stuff man as well as they sent the hat too. The suede hat. This right here. This right here is stupid. We appreciate that, man. The heat. Bring the heat. Hustle. Endure. Triumph. Alright? But check it out. Heatgoods.com, man. We appreciate that. Yes, sir. We're gonna set this right to the scissor. Uh, let's put that right there. Let's put that right there. Also, yo, oh, I forgot the one that I had to put on. This is the, the distress hat with the holes, cut holes in it. All right. With the red and white embroidered logo. Stupid. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate the love. Like I said, today we're gonna be cleaning with the uh, Shoe MGK kit, of course. And I'm also gonna open up this pack of shoe freshener, the new balls that you can put in your shoes. You can put them in your gym bag. You can put them different places, all right? And we're gonna be using the Shoe MGK MVP kit right here. Good stuff. The big boy pack. The MVP pack. New. No. And that comes with the water stain repellent. The cleaner and conditioner. Two of those. And the white touch up paint. Bam. Good stuff, man. Super good stuff. And also the brush. 
All right, the universal brush. And we're just gonna jump right into it. Today, like I said, we have these, uh, these busted Adidas cleats and they've been through the ringer. But I just wanted to do this episode to show y'all how good this stuff works. All right, even on busted shoes. Look at that. These have been put, had some miles put on them. Okay, and these are the uh, the filthy quicks, but nonetheless, we're gonna get right to it. First, we're gonna knock off all the grass and chunks of dirt. Jeez. <laughs> knock that off. Right, nice. One down. Knock this one off. You can also use the back end of that brush too. Bop, smack that thing. Pop that thing, boy. Y'all know about that. Smack that thing like that. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. But you know how it goes, man. All right, so now we got a nice, even surface to work with, for the most part, okay? And like I said, I like to, I like to keep two brushes, one for like knocking off dirt and stuff like that, and then one for actually cleaning. But this other brush I can use on multiple, you know, dry things, like on suede, once I finish with it, um, or whatnot, you know. But one thing I don't like doing is cross-contaminating my water, cross-contaminating. Dang, they got all kind of shit. What the fuck? Get this out of here. All right. Woo! Now let's get right into it. All right. So... Slide this to the side. Give me a little room, a little breathing room. All right. So I just have a little bowl of water and um, it's pretty simple. Let's just jump right into it. First, y'all know the drill. If you're new to the channel, right? If you're new to the channel, you gotta know the drill. What's the drill? Everybody that knows what the drill is, go ahead and drop it in the comments right now. You know it. Dip, dip, drill. That's the drill. Dip, dip, drill. All right? Dip, dip, drill. Put your solution on there. All right? And then just go ahead and work it in. Start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. Activate the suds. And then work your way up. Go with circular motions. So y'all see it, I'm gonna do a half and half on this bad boy. Split it right down the seam on him. Bam! Half and half. Uh, bam, bam, dip, dip, drip. Right there. Right here. Right now. Look at that. Already, I can see it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that? Can you see it? I see it already. And I ain't even bothering with taking the shoestrings out on these. These are cleats. You know. Unless you're doing a photo shoot or something like that. At the end of the day, these are cleats that are gonna get. Woo! <laughs> Boy! Hey! Good God Almighty! Do you see that? Hold on. Man, I need y'all to see this. I need you to see this. Live action! 
And what I like to do is keep a dirty rag, right? For the initial clean of getting out the dirt and you know grime and stuff like that. And then I'll have a clean rag to the side, right? And uh, okay, yeah, there you go. Then I have a clean rag to the side that I can use for the uh, last go around. But look at that! Look at it! Good God Morty! Look at this! Do you see that? Look at the black. Right? The thing I love about the Shoe MGK is what? Is that it makes your blacks blacker and your grays grayer. And it even will make your oranges oranger. All right? That's what I love about it, man. It brings that color out. It has UV brighteners in it. Let me make sure I hit this tongue up here. Dip, dip, drill. Bam! Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Work it. Huh. Yes, sir. Did I just rub that dirty rag on my own. Oh my God. All right. So, y'all see it, man. Look at the difference. Like I said, I, I see a couple areas that I want to pinpoint right around in here. And along the stitching. So I'm gonna hit that on the second go around. But now, let's hit this side and get it nice and crispy. Dip, dip, drill. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to get to it. Get to it. Leave a comment, right? Leave a comment on what you want me to hit up next. Give me a challenge. That's what I want. Give me a challenge. Send me some shoes. Send me some shoes that you want to challenge me to clean. And I clean them up, detail them, and get them back to you. All right? But you got to pay for it. That ain't nothing free. All right? Dip, dip, drip. I'm already giving you this free content to show you how this stuff works and give you some tips and strategies on getting you staying crispy. You gotta stay crispy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's rub this down. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. All right. So again, this is the initial clean. Look at there. Look at there. Good God Marty. Googly moogly. Woo! Damn. Bam! Side by side comparison. Look at that. Good gracious. Oh. What do you think? Leave a comment what you think. Make sure you share it, the video, rate it, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know what it is. Stay connected. We're going to be dropping these videos pretty consistently. So if you like to see these restores, these cleans, and these protects, hit us up. And like I said, if you want me to pick out a or do a specific shoe, let me know. If we have them in stock, We'll get them, or we can put a request out for people to send them in. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottom of these. Dip, dip, drill. If they don't seem too heavily laden with mud, just a bunch of grass. So let's get that. Let's get that clean. Got our dirty rag. Dirty rag. Get the 
in between no crevices. I wish I had a blower or something to blow off. Like, like you go through an automatic car wash and it's like and it blows off all the stuff. That would be cool. That would be cool. But since we don't, good gracious. Lord. There you have it. Man. Look at that. I mean, the difference. Look at, look at that. Come on, player. Tell me that this stuff ain't magic. All right? It's magic. It's the shoe magic. All right? Black's blacker, gray's grayer. All right? Look at the comparison. This stuff works magic. Look at it. Woo! And these are cleats. These have been beat up. These have been ran through. Literally, right? And I mean, shoot, these almost look brand dang on new. All right, so let's hit it one more time and get the uh, hit the uppers one more time and hit the uh, dry them off with the clean rag. All right, dip, dip, drip, dip, dip, drip. All right, put your solution on there, then just hit it. And again, what it's doing is it's cleaning and protecting. All right, cleaning and conditioning. Cleaning and conditioning. That's what it's all about. That's how you extend the life of your shoes. A lot of people I run across, or that the whole team runs across, they'll be like, oh yeah, I just throw them in the washing machine. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Do you know how rough a washing machine is? Because I hope you're not putting it in there with other clothes. That doesn't make sense, right? The only way they're not your shoes aren't gonna get beat up bad is if you put them in there with other clothes. So, that means cross-contaminating your drawers, your clothes, your t-shirts, your underwear with dirty shoes. Why would you do that? Even put them in the same machine. I, I, I just can't do it. I don't, I don't see it. Unless I had a separate washer, that's different, right? But I'll show you guys a technique that I use. When you, basically, so people do that to get that, that, uh, that clean that lifts the dirt out. Right? I'll show you a different technique with that. I'm gonna do a whole video. Matter of fact, check the videos. Um, or make sure you subscribe, because I haven't posted it yet, but I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on basically building a shoe washer. So, check it out. Make sure you're notified or subscribe so that you'll get the notification when I drop that video. But, there you have it, ladies. There you have it, gentlemen. Now we have a cleaner rag. It's not a clean, clean rag, but we have a cleaner rag, not as dirty as this one, that we're then gonna go around with, right? And uh, dry this bad boy off. Woo! Look at there. Good God Almighty. Now she really looks brand new now. now. Look at the stitching. Look how it got inside of that stitching. Where are your cleats? So even when you out on the field, even when you out playing the field, you, you gotta be fresh when you out there.
Okay? Look at that. Again. Bam. 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 Looking good. All right. So now, let's bust down the second one. Look at that. See that? That's amazing. It's amazing. All right, let's hit the other side and the tongue. Dip, dip, drip. Just like that. Just that quick. It's the first clean. You're gonna hit the bottoms. These ones. Earth, good lord. Y'all can't see how dirty these are. I know the camera isn't like doing it justice, but look at that. Look at where they were before and look at that. All right, let's hit the bottom. Ness. Bottom one good time. Knock off major stuff. Like I said, I don't spend a lot of time on the bottom unless I'm reselling or unless it's a specific request. Why? Because it's just going to get right back dirty. All right, so unless it's a resale, you ain't gotta pay too much attention to the bottom. Woo! Grass everywhere. That's pretty good though, if I must say so myself. It's pretty good. Look at that. hit these one more time right to really bring that richness of color out all right and dry it off with the good rag dip dip drip If I must say so myself, the shoes, uh, they looking good. Uh, I say they clean. Uh, I say, uh, woo. They clean. Look at that. Good gracious. And that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing major. Just wanted to show y'all, even with busted, old, dirty cleats, the Shoot MGK brings them back to life. Yes, sir. All right, now, for the second part of this, hold on. I wanna get this off of the ground, cause that is fresh. It is, it is is fresh aight let's keep it clean 
Get like with that Shoe MGK. Now, I wanna show y'all this. The Shoe Freshener Balls, all right? Let's jump right into these. I don't know if I'm gonna need some scissors or something. This might. This might not. All right. Bam. Take these blues off. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All right. Here we go. Yo, <laughs> yo, you can smell it already. I mean, it, it hits your daggum nostrils. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are fresh, too. So, look, if you can see right there, they're like little vents. Even with them closed, like the smell is like, I, I know you can't smell it, but. The smell is like really strong and it's like smelling like really good. But you can rotate these and open the vents, right? Look at that, that's pretty cool. And it smells like, <sighs> smells like, uh, I don't even know, like a citrusy, uh, like, this smells great. This smells like really good. But it's like, uh, definitely citrusy. And with a hint of like mango or some kind of fruit. Or lime, lemon lime. <sighs> Woo, that smells good. So basically all you do if you have gym bags, um, closets, uh, any suitcases, definitely shoes, of course. Any kind of space that's smelly, right? Woo hoo hoo hoo! Boy, yo, these these smell great. You know, you could probably even put them in a car, right? The car has an odor. Or just as air freshener. Anyway, just drop them in there. Bloop. Bloop. And that's it. Check out Shoot MGK's other products. Um, they also have the um, the what's it called? Oh, I have some. It's the it's in the green bottle. It's the shoe freshener. Check that out too, that works wonders. And what it does is it actually, you spray it inside of the shoe, it's in a bottle just like this, but it's green. You spray it inside of the shoe and it kills the bacteria that causes the odor, right? So these are the fresheners, but the spray the, in the green bottle, I call this, I think it's called the, the freshener, the shoe freshener. You spray it inside of the shoe on the uh, insole, Right? And it's gonna kill the actual bacteria that causes the odor, right? Which makes a hell of a lot of sense, right? But get that, get these, these smell freaking awesome. Put them in your gym bags, put them in your lockers, right? These smell great. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Shoot MGK um, sneaker balls, right? You saw the magic that I just worked with the cleaner and conditioner, okay? And then with your um, water stain repellent, basically, all you do now, once you got them clean, spray this on them. And what this is gonna do is protect them. Just like that. Woo! And it dries quick. So this is gonna form a coat, a protective coat on it. So, and I'll do a part two to this video to uh, show you how water and blood and wine and stuff, I ain't gonna show you how blood runs off of it, but I do have some wine, some, some leather, right? So, 
If anything, you want to use that in a ventilated area too. Got it. Woo. All right, you make sure you use this in a well ventilated area. All right. <clears throat> okay, it says it on the, says it on the bottle. I should have. <laughs> Avoid breathing of spray, mist, or vapor. All right. <laughs> And avoid skin contact. Powerful stuff. Alright. But yeah, spray that on, let it dry. What I like to do is put a couple of coats on, right? And what is what it does is it forms a protective shield around your shoe. Right? Invisible protective shield all around the shoe. Right? Just like that, you see that? Just like that, all around it, everywhere you spray it. So I'll put a couple coats on, right? And um, from there, let it dry. You wanna let it dry for 24 hours, right? And so I'll put one coat on, maybe I'll wait like an hour, then I'll come back, put another coat on, wait another hour, put another coat on, right? So three coats, I like to do personally three coats. Right, you really only have to do one, but me, I like to make sure it's covered evenly. Um, but I'll, so I'll put three coats on, let it sit for 24 hours, all right? And then we're gonna come back and we're, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how anything that falls on it, water, Kool-Aid, whatever it is, it's gonna fall on it and roll right off, right? So it forms this protective shield around the shoe, right? that helps keep all types of um, liquids off of it, right? And then these, you just open up, twist them to the little holes open, bam, drop them in the shoe. Fresh! This has been another episode on Dip Dip Drip. You know how we do. You see it, live action undeniable right undeniable you see how it looks you saw how they looked in the beginning you see how they look now shoe mgk it's the truth dip dip drip so there you have it ladies and gentlemen Again, we're using the Shoot MGK MVP kit. You got to see the sneaker balls in action, the refreshener balls. It smell really great. And also, check out our sponsors, Heat at HeatGoods.com. It's been another episode of Dip Dip Drip. Go ahead and get at us. Let us know. Share, like, rate, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, let us know what other shoes you want to see us clean. What other materials. We got you. Check them bad boys out. That's crazy. Brought them all the way back to life. Dang.